Okay, Sounds of Decay One, take it away. The band is J O Day. J O Day. J O Day. The album is Nesta Veins. Have you ever been instrajected? Oh, do tell. Yes, it's a word. Yes, it is now. You excitedly put on a lightning bolt or a zap a song for someone, and after about a minute, they crinkle up their nose and say, There's no singing. When's, when's the singing? Okay. When's the singing stuff? Then you <laughs> shove them into the swimming pool. Yes. Fairly common occurrence, and it takes a brave artist to decide to release music sans vocals to a boutique sized audience. Enter Day, a three piece instrumental band from Toronto with several singles and now two full lengths under their belt. Nesta Veins is 38 minutes of angular guitars, odd time signatures, metallic riffing, and the occasional jazzy melody. There's obviously a lot of varied influences in the Sonic Stew. From post-hardcore dissonance to alt-metal crunch to post-rock reverberations and everything in between. The songs are remarkably hooky for the style. Built on the ever-shifting percussion of Spencer Robson, deftly skating across cymbals, rolling heavy over toms, and occasionally shifting into pure thrash snare of use. Uh, Cantiga 166 opens with a series of bluesy guitar drones before Robinson Robson moves into a very rush-like tempo, guitarists cycling through at least four fascinating riff changes, zigzagging from channel to channel like Tool at their trippiest. Tree of Tenere is nearly seven minutes of tempo shifts from bell-like atmospherics to all-out racing thrash. Very impressive, particularly considering this only a trio creating such a complex and multi-layer instrumental. Fans of Don Caballero or the other bands I've been yammering on about could do much worse than to check out this latest album from J O Day. So let's play a song. This is the title track, Nest of Veins. This is the Snaggletooth Extreme Metal Podcast. <laughs> 